just don't try anything you see here at home. Today we're looking at why we cough and the part of your body that makes it happen. Son, what are you doing? This is a lab, not a laundry. I know, but there is a time and a place to do your dirty washing, and this isn't it. Because today, we're going to look at one of the biggest organs in your body. The organ involved in coughing. Yes, it's... Your lungs! <laughs> That's what all this is for, Chris. If you laid your lungs out flat, opened up all the little spaces inside them, they'd be about 50 square metres. That's huge! That's the same as all this material around the lab. That's right, your lungs have a huge surface area. But to understand how you can fit it inside your chest, come and take a look at this. Here comes a gross alert. This is a real pair of cow's lungs. Now, people often think that lungs are a bit like empty bags full of air. But in fact, they're solid. So you can see here a cross section through the lung. Now, these tubes are the large airways that take air down to the segments. And the segments look like they're made of foam. And that's because the segments are full of tiny little air sacs called alveoli. In humans, alveoli are far too small to be seen. But you can see them in these massive cow's lungs. They pass oxygen from the air into your blood to be used by your body. And with every breath you take, you inhale air. Also, viruses, pollen, dust and bacteria. But don't worry, your lungs have an amazing trick to get rid of stuff that you inhale that you don't want. Coughing. <coughs> exactly. And we're going to show you how it works. Coughing is a really clever technique that your body uses to get rid of anything unwanted from inside your lungs, including the large amounts of mucus produced when you're ill with a chest infection. To show you how coughing works, we're going to inflate this pair of healthy lungs using gas from this canister. Zond, inflate the lungs. This is awesome. We've never done this before. Even at medical school, we never saw lungs inflated outside of a body. So here, where the lungs gone white, these alveoli are fully inflated. Wow! This is one of my favourite experiments ever, I think. These lungs are a lot like your lungs, but a bit bigger. They're actually about six times bigger. All right, Zand, turn off the gas and let's breathe out. And now the lungs are deflated. Now, to show you the importance of coughing, we need to infect one of these lungs. So I'm going to put some mucus into it. This is like what happens if you have a very serious chest infection. I'm going to insert some fake mucus into the lung. Now look what happens when Zand turns on the gas. The mucus-infected lung doesn't inflate properly anymore because it's blocked. And this shows you the importance of coughing for getting mucus out of your lungs so those airways don't get clogged up. And to demonstrate coughing, I've got some balloons over here. I have here two balloons. Now, mine is a nice, healthy, mucus-free balloon. Zand, I'm afraid yours is very badly infected, as you can see from the large amount of mucus in the airway. Ugh. Now, let's inflate the balloons. Three, two, one. Well, this doesn't feel fair, Chris. My mucus-filled balloon is really hard to blow up. See, my balloon inflates extremely easily and also <laughs> deflates extremely easily. How's it going, Zand? Very badly. <clears throat> I've got a mouthful of mucus and I can barely get any air into this lung. Seems to me, Zand, that you should have a bit of a cough. Ooh, that'll make me feel much better. OK, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> do, do, do. 